With Fear Extraction Point, which is the expansion pack for Fear on PC, uh, the story picks up exactly where it left off on the PC. So there's the, the big spoiling, revealing ending that I won't mention, and then you're right back into the action. Uh, essentially, I mean, in Fear you have those, that mix of the supernatural stuff and the, the science-y stuff with the replicant and the, the horror stuff all sort of working against you. In Extraction Point, both of those um, entities are still there, but there's been a lot of unsettling stuff that's happened at, at the end of Fear. So those forces are now not only acting against you, but they're acting against each other. So you can expect to see a whole lot more strange stuff going on. In Extraction Point, we've added some new content, which is essentially, as far as weapons go, we've got uh, three new weapons. One of them is a great big minigun, and there's nothing, you know, with the, with the fear environments that everything is completely, you know, breakable, and there's lots of dust, and there's lots of unsettling stuff going on. When you unleash with the minigun in a room like that, especially with the slow-mo, and you put those bodies in with, the, uh, with all of their uh, physics and everything applied, it's really quite the, uh, the amazingly destructive sight to see. So that's a really fun new weapon that's included. We also have uh, a new grenade-based weapon, which is essentially a turret, and another super secret weapon that, let's just say, does a really good job of severing. Uh, we have done some enhancements to the AI as well. So the AI in fear is, is exceedingly good at, at, you know, hiding and using the environment and, and circling around and trying to flank you. And so we've added stuff to that in the sense of they're now a little bit more proactive in moving around things in the environment. So they'll knock over shelves, they'll hide behind couches, they'll push over tables and boxes and crates and all, all sorts of other stuff to not only um, to hide from you, but to also give themselves better cover when they're attacking you. Uh, some of the new environments that we have uh, do stick to the old uh, style of fear, which is a very close quarter combat, because that's where fear's AI really, you know, it's, that's the real fun element of fear, is those close rooms and those tight battles. Um, but we've also added in a lot of larger areas, too, so we have some ranged combat and some sniping. So I think that'll be a nice change for, for people who really enjoy the fear stuff to be able to get out into, like, a, a big open area and let loose with some new big weapons. See, we have several new AI types for you to come after in Extraction Point. Some of them are very large, uh, and I'll leave that at that, but there's also some new ones that are uh, of the supernatural elements. So we've got some invisible guys running around, which can create a lot of havoc for the player. Well, as far as endings go, you can never really close the book on anything in games. I mean, so uh, I don't want to give anything away, but, you know, you'll have to play through to find out what happens in the end. Mm -hmm.